uh, in the last lesson this is what we made uh, this lesson we are going to focus on making the right column okay so we are still working on the same tags uh, HTML page so down uh, here within row we are going to make a new class and this class would be uh, for a column uh, MD since the top is 4 this would be 8 okay so we're going to give this a, a dashboard uh, right cell so this is not bootstrap it's our own class we are going to use it um, within our CSS and just trying to make a new div autocomplete okay so that's it uh, class and this would be uh, admin container the same as above and within that I'm going to have a header and we're going to have a h5 so it's very identical to what we have above if we reset the screen we see that is what we have and uh, now we can uh, go ahead and do something a bit more interesting so bootstrap has a uh, different types of table this is a, a striped one um, add a few table headers so we have name we have status and we have when this was created and then we also have actions okay so edits and delete stuff like that so that's what we have uh, and that's what we um, are aiming for okay so now um, the next thing I want to do is uh, table dimension to match with our table headers so the first one will match the name so it's Python so the status of, the, of, of this would be a type of label so we say success for example um, there are different types of labels so we've done this uh, before so you could use default and so on danger and so on so this is what we have um, we have created uh, to do now so this is simply going to be something like two days ago and action uh, actions would be buttons so this would be extra small uh, buttons uh, so this would be a warning for example um, that you're about to alter something so warning could be for edit okay and if we reset this page that's what we have so this page is looking very good even if I do say so myself uh, button we could change this to, to danger uh, delete okay so this is in use so we don't want you to be able to, to delete it because it's in use so uh, bootstrap has a disabled class which we can add just by writing disabled like any other class so what that does it gives us a, a button that we can't click which is what we need so we could um, copy this uh, paste this here and then change labels where needed change title uh, not used and uh, dates can change here uh, edits uh, this is no longer disabled and so on all right so that's how we uh, can go ahead and have have that uh, that's what we're aiming for so we have something very similar the background um, is not showing properly so we need to see that the table is actually striped so if we add tags class um, CSS um, we add here tags.css and here we can add a bit of styling to this tags so where do we start uh, we have this left and right cells for example so let's say dashboard uh, left cell I uh, want to add a padding to the right to make it five pixels so we're trying to close uh, this gap here okay so this is one way of controlling it so now it's decreased okay so we also um, want to do the same with the right uh, cell 
So we're saying padding left is five pixel. So we're changing the default padding added to this distance. So now it's closed up a little bit more. All right, so um, now we could style our admin content container, which is used both on the left and the right side. Uh, we want to set the margin uh, to the top to be 20 pixels, so push everything up. Background color to be white and uh, the border for the top would be uh, something thicker than one pixel, so it would be four pixels. And it's grayish, so it's E7 uh, EAEC solid. And we have padding, uh, 15 pixels all around. Okay, so if we reset the page, we could see our contents a lot clearer. Okay, and our borders there, it looks more like what we are replicating. So there's just a few more styles to add. So we could um, go into our content container, uh, the H5. We want to uh, add a margin of zero pixel. So it resets everything. And then we want to add the pattern to the top uh, to be three pixels. Uh, reset the page. Okay, that's what we have. Everything is, is getting there. And we now want to target within our content container, the header. Okay, so we want to move everything below it down by 20 pixels. Give it some breathing room. Uh, the border will be one pixel uh, gray solid. And pattern bottom would be 10 pixel. Okay, so that gives us this nice uh, space uh, with a line with a border around it. And I would say that we are pretty much there. And when we resize, we don't need to do anything. Uh, it's pretty much uh, responsive on every device. Okay, so we've done it all here. Um, I've done, I've written not used. You could change that to not used and you can change the status by yourself, uh, color. So this is what we're going to work on the next lesson. Um, this has been good, a very easy one to do. So uh, we'll end the lesson here and I will see you in the next lesson.